This is my uh, 2003 Dodge Caravan. I'm going to be showing you guys how to clean out a throttle body. My throttle body is right there. First thing I wanted to do was I disconnected the negative battery. It's just good practice when you're working on stuff. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is get access to the throttle body. First thing I'm going to remove is this hose here. Just to give myself some more room. I'm just going to pull this hose off. I'm going to pull, pull this one up off. Set that there. I'm going to go ahead and remove this air box. Just to give myself some more room. 10 millimeter. And that's the only one I see. So this these usually just pull right out. And this one does too. So if it's, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this air cleaner right now. I'm just gonna take the one off of here. That's an eight millimeter. Okay, pull this off. Now there's a, uh, uh, I don't know if this is a, this has a, uh, this has a map sensor it looks like right here. So this is probably uh, an air intake temperature sensor. I don't think that's a map sensor. So let me take this sensor off. You better look at it. There's two wires. It's probably not a, it's an in, air intake. Okay, I should be able to pull this out though. That is a uh, thermistor there, air intake, a little blue thing in the, that's not a math, that's a, that's a thermistor. So, that's a, that's an air intake temperature. Let's see if I can show you guys how nasty this throttle body is. Holy crap. It's pretty disgusting. Let me get a little closer, give you a close up. Just to show you how disgusting that is. Nasty, nasty. Okay, I'm going to be uh, spraying this up. And I'm going to clean out my uh, uh, idle air control. Uh, so I'm going to clean all that stuff out. And yeah, get started. I think I'm going to unplug that, maybe just unbolt it from the uh, intake and uh, clean it out really good because it's really nasty. Looks like there's only a couple bolts. I'm going to uh, unplug that connector right there for the IAC and probably take these uh, cables off there and un unbolt one, two, looks like all I see is three right now, but I'm going to take those off. And okay, so I'm going to pull this back on this and this looks like this comes out pretty easy. You just go back over the top. These are both released. Okay. I'm going to unplug this IAC here. We got a little red clip. All, all of Dodge's stuff has the red clips on it. I hate them. Okay, get the clip off. See, they love these little red red slide clips. I hate them. But, okay. Now, looks like I just got to take out a couple 10 millimeter bolts. There's one. Looks like that. One set them here. Another one down here. Let's 
too. Just three bolts holding this on. I'm going to pull this hose off. And disconnect. Looks like I got one more thing to disconnect. This is the throttle position sensor. It's freaking nasty. Crusty. There you go. Okay, here I got my throttle body. Let me show you a little bit about it here. Um, as you can see, this thing is just disgusting. Almost sealed. No wonder it has a rough idle. You can barely even see light through that thing. So it's just extremely dirty. Really carbon fouled around the edges. And this here is the, thr the uh, throttle cable spring. So when you push on the gas pedal, it pulls this. And right here is a throttle position sensor. It has a power and a ground on the outside and the inside's an internal wiper. Changes the resistance, which sends a different voltage back to the computer. And it lets it, it this tells the computer what position the throttle, throttle plate's at. This right here is your idle air control. It's a, uh, this one's a two pin, so it's just a solenoid that moves in and out like this. And there's a plunger in here. Uh, it's real nasty in here, real dirty. I'm going to take this apart and clean all this out. This is actually a T20 Torx bit. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out. I just I'm going to clean this up real good. Actually, first I'm going to lay this out. And this is actually just mass airflow cleaner. These are uh, sensor safe, so you can buy throttle body or some people use brake cleaner or personal preference. And this is just what I had, so this is what I'm going to use. Up around here. Got a Q-tip and some cotton balls. I'm going to try to scrub this out. Or actually, I'll use some, some uh, needle nose pliers. Just something to hold that sucker open so I don't hurt my fingers. and clean the back side of it. It's even nastier. Okay. I scrubbed this out quite a bit, uh, cleaned it up pretty good. Now I'm going to take apart this uh, idle air control. And it's a T20 torque screw. You go grab a screwdriver pry that thing out. It's like stuck in there. It's so gummed up. Yeah. Pry it. There we go. It's coming out now. You can see how nasty. Oh yeah. Look at that crap. That's like pieces of carbon. Look at that. See those big pieces of carbon just stuck in there? Man, this thing probably needs to be changed out. Oh well, I'll clean it up, but this thing had huge pieces of carbon just stuck in there. It's pretty disgusting.
Well, basically the air cleaner goes around here. All this, all this air is the air that bypasses the throttle plate for idle. Basically the computer controls this, moves this, moves this valve in and out depending upon how much air it wants to let. Basically it lets air in through there, goes through there and comes out the back and bypasses the throttle plate for idle. It can make the idle speed go up or down depending upon how, how much that valve opens or closes. So I'm going to scrub this out a little bit in here. Anyway, that's a lot better. I really think I probably should replace this just because how gummed up it was. But I'm going to go ahead and pop it back in. Okay. That screw sucked it down quite a bit. Alright, I think it's about ready to go back on. I cleaned it up about the best I could. Let me pop this hose back on. Pop this hose on here. Okay. I'm going to plug in my throttle position sensor. Actually, it goes on this way. Slips on that way. Push that on. This slips on. I push this clip back like that. Push this on. Try to get all three started. I don't know what the torque spec is for these. So I'm just going to snug them up. I just got to put the uh, box back in. These things just, they're stud sticking up. They snap in, but this part fits over the actual reel intake. So this gasket, you want to push it down and make sure these clips are tight, which they are. So I'm going to throw this back in. Way too hard. I think it's good now. Just had two, two, two studs to line up, and then this thing bolts down. And this is slipped on. Got to throw my uh, intake clip back on. Intake air temperature. It's on. Red clip snapped in. Should be good. Okay, now I just got to throw my cables back on. I'll just have to throw this hose back on. All right, just to recap, took these cables off here, took this hose off here. Took this bolt off here, pulled the air box out, uh, took off the uh, air intake temperature sensor, the idle air control, uh, idle air control connector, throttle position sensor, which is uh, right below the, right below it, right there, and unplugged the vacuum hose. That's pretty much it. Cleaned it all out, threw it back together.